Hey, Shalom, 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 Israel. I want to start off and give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and you hopeful elect scattered abroad across the four winds of this earth. I'm your fellow servant Malachi. Coming in front of the GMS Temple Bay Church. All right, when to get into a lesson dealing with uh, the vengeance. Okay, this is the uh, the time uh, that the Lord is about to make His second coming. All right, into this earth. All right, He's getting ready to 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 to, to put these nations on the subjection. All right, He's getting ready to uh, 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 to to lift up. All right, His elect. All right, the ones who have been uh, signed and crying, all right, against all the abominations that have been done in the earth. So we can see that this is some beautiful times uh, for those hopeful elect members, all right, across the four corners of the earth. And we can see that the Lord is 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 bringing these uh, uh, prophecies so that they uh, 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 can be fulfilled. Okay, um, <clears throat> uh, let's start off with uh, this one since I mention that the Lord is coming, okay, um, coming to visit uh, Esau Edom, all right, um, this is the book of, uh, the book of Zechariah, chapter 5, and um, we can start at verse 3, <coughs> it reads, then said he, then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on the side according to it. And everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on the side according to it. Okay? And this is what uh, a vision. All right? This is this is what uh, a Zechariah seeth. All right? He sees a, a uh, a huge uh, a chariot, all right, a huge uh, so-called UFO that you may have, have heard of in the world today, a UFO, a flying saucer. All right? So this is what he is seeing. This is the 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 curse that is going over the face of the whole earth. All right, and this is what's getting ready to come. All right, to meet uh, uh, Esau, Edom. All right, and the rest of these other heathen nations. Verse four, it says. <clears throat> I will I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of him <coughs> that sweareth falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of his house, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Alright, so this is going to be when Yahweh makes his second coming. All right, this is going to be a fulfillment of prophecy. All right, as we see in these uh, in days. All right, so let's jump to the book of Luke twenty-one and quick hit verse twenty-two. It says, "For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled." All right, so these are the days of vengeance. <clears throat> that is sitting within the uh, the Lord's heart, all right, within his mind. He's he's angry with the wicked every day, all right, as the scripture says. All right, so we're getting ready to see how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is about to destroy this uh, 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 this Babylonian system, this whole Babylonian uh, uh, place, all right, all wickedness, uh, uh, all the enchantments that's been thrown out, all the different type of spells and uh, all the filthiness, all right. The Lord's going to destroy it from off the face of the earth, as you read in the book of Nahum. Okay, I believe it's uh, Nahum. Let me, let me get that right quick. I believe it's the book of Nahum. I think it's Nahum one. Um, no, it's a lot. That's uh, uh, Amos, I believe. Amos, ah, uh, Salat, Amos 12, Salat, right quick, I mean, Amos 9, Amos 9, yeah, Amos 9 and 8, <clears throat> it says, Behold, 
The eyes of the Lord power are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith Yahweh. <coughs> All right. So this is what the Lord is saying. He's going to do. Uh, 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 destroy this place from off the face of the earth. Okay, this, he's going to use it by the way of Yahweh Shai when he comes and enter into the house of the thief. All right, these are the days of vengeance that is in the Lord's heart. All right, so this is the book of Isaiah 47. Um, was it 47? I got a oh Isaiah. Let's get this Isaiah 63. All right, and then we'll go back to that uh, 47. On um, this, is the book of Isaiah 63, and um, we just get straight to the point. Um, we can start at verse one. All right, I just read all the way down. So Isaiah 63, verse one. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength, I that speak in righteousness, righteousness mighty to save. All right, and who is that? All right, this is Yahweh Shai coming, all right, when he enters into the house uh, of the thief. It says, Wherefore, verse 2, Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? All right, so it's going to show you this is this is a representation of how much uh, 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 red and, and, and blood, all right, the Lord is about to spew out here, okay, in here in uh, uh, Babylon the Great, all right, because vengeance is in his heart. We, we're going to get to that. Verse 3, it says, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. So when the Lord Yahweh comes back, he's getting ready to get busy. All right? He's getting ready to bring vengeance onto this place. All right? This place is uh, about to be destroyed. We see the prophecies happening right now. It's a matter of time before we see Yahweh come. All right, and, and, and break open them clouds. Verse four, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart and the year of my redeem is come. <clears throat> All right, so vengeance is in the Lord's heart. He is ready for this day to happen. All right, he is ready for this day to happen. He's sitting on a throne all right, next to Yahweh, and he's meditating of the anger, all right, and the and, the, and all the killing that he's getting ready to do when he comes down, all right, here in this place, Babylon the Great. Um, verse 5, it says, And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury, it upheld me. And I will tread down the people in mine anger and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. All right. So the Lord is getting ready to bring and make these people desolate. He's about to make Esau, Edom, and the whole nation <coughs> be desolate. He's even going to bring down two thirds of the nation of Israel because they sided along with this damn devil. Okay, so when the time of this uh, digital all uh, uh, is going to be uh, uh, being pushed heavily, all right, we're getting ready to see Yahweh Shai bring that vengeance upon those who sided with uh, the beast, who sided with the, uh, the dragon. Okay, um, what was I going next? Um, this is the book of James 2 and 13. It says, For he shall have judgment without mercy. That have showed no mercy and mercy rejoices rejoiceth against judgment so the point is <coughs> when the lord returns he's going to have judgment without mercy all right um what's that in um isaiah 66 all right <clears throat> all right it's the book of isaiah um 
Ooh. Isaiah 66. Mm. Oh, what did it? It's uh, a lot. Isaiah 66. Con. Isaiah 66, verse. Hmm. Yeah, 15. It says, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. <coughs> so when the Lord returns, he's coming back to destroy this place, all right, and bring more fire unto it. More fire, <laughs> all right? He's getting ready to uh, shoot out laser beams, fire, all right? These people are going to be running, scared, screaming, getting zapped, turning into nothing but just straight, pure dust, all right? That concentrated heat is getting ready to hit these people, all right? Um, <clears throat> it says, verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So it's showing you when the Lord returns back, he coming to fuck some shit up. He's not having no mercy at that time. He's not finna sit there and, and, and play with nobody. He's not gonna talk. It's just gonna be nothing but just straight killing, straight slaughter. All right, people thinking that this is a game and it's not. Um, This is the book of uh, Isaiah. 47 and um, verse 3 it says thy nakedness shall be uncovered <coughs> yea thy shame shall be seen alright so the Lord is going to uncover everything that has been given us a lot the Lord is going to uncover everything that uh, Esau Edom has uh, uh, brought out alright you can see it right now that the Lord is uncovering all the uh, different imaginations, all the different delusions, all the witchcraft, all right? The Lord is bringing out all the uh, false accusations, all the uh, 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 um, uh, uh, things that, uh, his, 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 uh, his plans, all right? The Lord is uncovering everything, all right, that Esau Edom is doing, all right? He's uncovered, uh, uh, basically, and lifted up the skirt of this, uh, of this place, this great whore, all right, and her whole and, and her shame is being seen, all right? It says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man, all right? So this is showing you that this is coming from the heavens. This is coming, this power is coming from another uh, dimension. All right, and it's entering into what? The house of the thief, as we had opened up with. All right, and this is when the whole world is going to see Yahweh Shai when he returns. All right, he's going to return. All right, but he's not going to meet anyone as the man. All right, before uh, uh, when he was on this earth, they're going to see another whole being. All right, a, a, a person of true power. All right, and glory. Um, let's get that right quick and, um, Matthew 24 and it's another one in um, Revelations 1 as well and we can close out with those and right and this is going into what the, the vengeance of the Lord and his second coming okay uh, this is the book of Revelations 1 yeah Revelations chapter 1 verse 7 yeah verse 7 it says behold he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of uh, because of him. Even so, Amen. So showing you that the Lord is coming in what in the uh, so-called UFOs, but we know them as uh, within the uh, scriptures as the chariots of the Most High. Okay. These are the clouds, the chariots that the Lord is about to be seen and every eye is going to see him. All right. Even those who, who pierced him. All right. At the time when he was here on the earth, 
They all gonna see Yahweh Shai. All right, and great fear is gonna come upon those. This is the book of Matthew 24. We can close out on here. Uh, reads on verse uh, 29, 20, uh, slot, verse 30. It says, <clears throat> And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Because <coughs> they know what's about to happen. They know that death is, is, is evident, that death is going to meet them at their front door. They see death, all right? Up in, in, in uh, all the way in between their uh uh uh, uh, salah, uh in between uh their spirit all right they're gonna know within their spirit salah. they're gonna know within their spirit all right that they are about to die a grievous death especially those who have pierced him all right that's why the scripture says what the earth the all the tribes of the earth are gonna mourn everyone's gonna mourn scared and fearful all right, it says, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. That's beautiful. They're going to see Yahweh not returning as a man, but they're going to see him coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. All right, this is how. The world is going to see the uh, the Messiah when he returns back. They're going to see the Son of Men. All right. They're going to see Yahweh Shai in his great glory and with great power. And he's getting ready to destroy this place. All right. And to have all nations. All right. On the subjection unto him. All right. So these are the days of vengeance. All right. That these things are of the scriptures are being fulfilled so that we can see the second coming of our Lord, our right and Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right? So, hey, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, Akim and Awatim. I want to give all honors and infinite praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekagwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders in Great Millstone who have taught us this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations, peace and blessings out there to you sincere and hopefully let scattered abroad. This is your fellow servant Malachi. Shalom.